Hi you guys, welcome back to Thursdays with something from somewhere, Organically Reborn Furniture and Decor. My name is Birgit Heffler and uh, thank you for being here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint a chair with upholstery. So I have it right here, I'm going to go through it right now. But I wanted to actually say before starting that this has been like the most incredible discovery for me. I had no idea, I don't know if many like you, or you're gonna find out today, that you can actually paint upholstery and it looks good. I mean, I never imagined. Hey there, Sergey. hi, thank you for being here. So uh, yeah, um, this has been a great discovery. I mean, I, I don't know how to still change uh, actually you know upholstery on a chair so knowing that I can paint over it and that it actually looks like amazing like like it's not even been painted it's it's unreal it's, it's really awesome to me so um, I'm gonna show you today I have started in sections on this chair and I'm gonna show you what it entails so let's begin by first letting you know what um, you're gonna need for this project so you're gonna need a large brush and a small brush. I particularly like a synthetic for this project. Uh, since you're painting on fabric, I find it to be easier for the paint to slide. I use a clay-based paint, um, all-in-one decor called Country Chic. I love it, it's totally natural. And I'm gonna be painting in the color Sunday Tea by Country Chic. Hello, Christine, how are you? Welcome. Sunday tea, it's like a really light, it's not white, it's kind of like a mushroomy whitish color. And the wood, I'm gonna paint it on, um, on a color called Nightfall, also by Country Chic. Um, you can see it's like a little, like a light bluish, coastally, really beautiful with a gray tone, kind of blue. So I thought those two will look really great together. So I'm gonna paint the upholstery in this color and the wood in Nightfall. Sunday Tea and Nightfall by Country Chic Paint, a clay-based paint. And um, so let's get started. Let me turn you around and show you what I've got here, what I've done, all right? So let me turn you around here a little bit and let's see. Hope you guys can see this. All right. So here's the chair. So as you can see, I, you see two different colors. This one is, well, this one right here is the original. Um, it wasn't in bad shape, but it had a lot of stains. And by the way, you guys, I found this chair on OfferUp. It's actually quite nice um, for 20 bucks. So once I'm done with this, forget it. It's gonna look like a million bucks, and you know it. So stay tuned. Um, so anyway, so this was the natural color it was like a beigey yellow we had a lot of stains i didn't like it welcome christopher hey you guys wherever you're watching from let me know where you are i love to know where you are in the states and uh, i'm here in florida palm city anyone um know this area please come by stop by let me know you're around the area I'd love to see you love to meet you so i know that we're kind of still in quarantine but you know my shop is pretty small so I don't really get a lot of like walk-ins um, a lot of my work is online but anyway I'd love to if you're around the area stop by that'd be awesome so today we're learning how to paint upholstery a fabric chair this one in particular so I started you can see like half and half like one half looks darker than the other so the lighter side is the original color and like I was saying it's not like the nicest color I mean if you see it really up close it's gonna be hard for me to bring the camera that close right now but you know it's old and it's kind of like you know yellowy already so I have started to paint this side only with the color Sunday tea by country chic it's a clay based paint all natural it's really awesome so this is what I did so I painted this what you guys do and I'm gonna show you on this side is you're gonna need also I forgot to tell you um, a bottle with water a spray bottle okay and what you want to do before you start painting is kind of soak the area go by by sections first instead of doing the whole thing so you're going to just you know spray that area that you're going to paint and by sections and water it i hope you can see you there all right 
So I'm gonna paint it with this color Sunday tea. Like all the paints, whenever you use them, I always recommend you guys that you pour it on a container and you dip your paint from the container and not the actual jar so that you don't contaminate the paint, okay? And always before you close it, clo you know, clean the border so that the paint doesn't get stuck and it becomes hard for you to open the can later when you wanna open it. All right, so I'm gonna use my synthetic brush. This is by Paint Pixie and it's called Create and it's number 10. It's a synthetic brush and it absorbs a lot of paint, but this particular one, I like it with upholstery because the paint just seems to go on smoother and slide easier. All right, hi Martha, welcome, hi. Showing you how you can change the color of any upholstery without having to change the upholstery and just paint it on any chair or even sofas. It's amazing and it looks really great with clay paint. So what we wanted to do first and how we started was with a spray bottle, before you start putting on the paint, you start by sections and you water it down with the water, the spray bottle, and now you start painting. This side is the one that I already did. I did one coat, and then I'm gonna show you what comes next, okay? So we're starting from scratch. So this is the unpainted area, and we're going to soak it a little bit with water, and then just paint over it. Okay, we're gonna do this probably two or three coats depending on the color that you're doing and also the fabric. Some fabrics will need more paint than others. You'll know that when you start doing it, but it's better that you do, you know, coats of coats and coats than trying to do everything at once because then it adheres better and it looks more natural. So, you know, this was already a light color to start with and I'm also doing a light color but in a little bit more tone of grays and um, I probably just need two coats and it should be plenty. So just paint. You soak it with the spray bottle, the area that you're gonna paint, go by section, and start painting. All right? Isn't this awesome? I'm, I was telling you guys earlier, like I learned this not too long ago. I did not know that you could actually paint upholstery. I mean, that was like, mind-boggling to me and then I was like ah, maybe it doesn't look that good I don't know paint on fabric well you know what it, it's like it's like if you just bought brand new upholstery on, on your furniture it's it's the best discovery ever hi Jasmine how are you my cousin Wow thank you for being here nice to connect with all of you this way. You're far, far, far away, Jasmine. If I'm not mistaken, and I probably am, are you in Africa? South Africa. Yep. Wow, that's nice. Wow, I never get to go to that side of the world. I would love to. I've been always wanting to. I need to put it out there and uh, make a plan see my cousins it's been a long long time hi Gina how are you where are you watching from Gina I have all these new followers you guys thank you so much I really appreciate your support especially during you know this times and as a small business any little help you know you guys watching liking sharing makes a huge difference it really does help us a lot so thank you so much Thanks for participating. And anyway, if you want, you know, if you have any questions also, please, I'm here to help you. So let me know. And if you have or any ideas or projects that you guys want to do, want to see in the future, let me know. I'll be more than happy as well to, you know, go over some of those projects with you and answer questions. So I'm going to just keep, keep spraying water before I paint over it. So you know, you kind of, depending on the fabric, I have like a, this is a fabric that has like little triangles, I don't know if you can see them. So kind of just going straight up and down doesn't do it. I find it that if I kind of like spread it around a little bit in circles. I mean, what you're really trying to do if you think about it is um, you're dyeing, you're dyeing the fabric with the paint. 
and uh, you're kind of helping the fabric absorb the paint with the water. So yep, so just keep spraying. Go in sections and then paint. You guys can see? I hope you can see from there. You're probably gonna need more than one coat, but I will do one, do the sections, and I will totally wait a full day on to putting the second coat. This one I did yesterday, because I wanted to show you guys, you know, the beginning stages and what you do. So this is the part that we're spraying and we're painting. This is the part that is dry and after it's dry with the first coat, I'm gonna show you what you need to do and then go from there, okay? Hi, Cindy, how are you? Texas. Hey, welcome from East Texas. That's awesome. This is so great. It still fascinates me that we can connect with all these technology now online. And you know, it really, it really shows you that the world is small. You know that? And that we're all connected one way or another. We all are, that's for sure. I love it that you're here, thank you so much. So I'm showing you guys how to paint upholstery. It's amazing. It really looks good. I mean, obviously good paints help a lot. Um, and this has been like the most amazing discovery because I kept seeing it and I didn't really believe it until I started doing it and how great it really looks and how much money you can save. I mean, think about it. You can paint your sofas, your chairs, and not have to go and pay somebody to do upholstery unless you know how. I haven't learned how, but anytime I've wanted to, it's a small fortune to do so. So this is like the greatest. And you know what's the worst thing you can do if you don't like it, then do the upholstery. But you know what, it comes out really, really good. So I totally recommend you guys try it out, maybe a little chair, something that you have at home or you can practice on first and see, and then take it from there. It's really awesome, really awesome. Hi Jean, how are you? You're welcome, that's what I'm here for. I hope I teach you guys things. <laughs> as I learn, I teach you as well. So we all can learn from each other, huh? So let me move a little bit this way. I hope you guys can still see me. I need to reach some spots here. So again, always make sure that you just the first coat, you really soak in some of that water with a spray bottle and then paint over it. And you know, just imagine that you want the upholstery, the fabric to absorb the paint. So it's like almost like you're dying dyeing it, okay? I'm using um, this color called Sunday Tea by Country Chic paints, which are really awesome paints. They're very um, highly pigmented since they're clay. They adhere to almost anything, so they're very easy to use. And um, with this project, all I'm using is a brush, some water, the paint, then I'll show you what we're gonna need after because we are gonna need a, a sanding block or sanding paper in 220 after it dries the first time around, which is I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you on this. What we do after is sand it lightly and what that does, it just kind of like um, smooths it out from any little, you know, whether they're strips or a little bit of, you know, being a little bit scratchy perhaps with the clay, because it's a clay-based paint, and so it evens it out and smooths it out, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, to seal it, is use a wax. The wax just makes it soft, and it gives it a nice shine to it, and when it dries, it's smooth and like, like a sofa, like a, really, just a cushiony, soft sofa, chair, cushion. Do you guys have any questions? Anybody has ever done this project before on anything at home? No? Do you have any kind of furniture maybe you want to try this out? So, 
Don't worry if like, you know, you get the other parts like with paint because we're gonna paint over it anyway. So I just wanted to show you this part first before going on to the actual painting of the chair. But that's it. Pretty cool, huh? So again, I think now they're both kind of even. This one looks a little bad, that, you guys. I don't know who's calling me right now. All right. All like the little details and stuff I'm gonna fix up later, but I wanted you guys to see it. So okay, I'm gonna go here in the top. Let me move you up a little bit so you can see better. I think that's a little bit better. I'll lower you down. All right, cool. Can you guys see? Awesome. All right, there you go. All right, cool. Hi, Jasmine. Oh, how do you clean it after it's been painted? Well, you know, um, how do you clean your sofas? You really, it's like a sofa sofa. So if you needed to grab a damp cloth and, you know, use whatever cleaners, if something spills on it that you need to clean it, that's what you would do. Just grab, you know, um, I don't know, whatever products you may use, but if not, just really like some water and soap and, you know, you clean the surface. The great thing with actually the way that this is done and once it's sealed with the wax, it's almost also like a, a sealer. So you're, you're putting a wax that is protecting. So it's almost waterproof as well, um, which makes it even easier than probably your original fabric that has a lot of pores. Um, this is not gonna look like it's painted, painted, but obviously you know it's not the original that you're gonna see that um, has absolutely like you know nothing on it so it actually gives it like a protectant over it and the wax becomes um, waterproof so it doesn't really totally absorb so it's actually easier to clean I hope that answers your question oh well it's, it is easy Christine um, it's not so hard really the thing is that you know we think it's hard because we've never done it and that was one of my things but um, I told you, like, like everything and anything, it's all about the tools, having the right, um, you know, products to do it. And once you do, then you use them. So that's what I'm here for, to like, kind of show you what I use. And seriously, like $20 chair to show you, you know, guys, and I'll probably sell it for more after this. This is the, my business. It's, uh, you know, organically reborn. So what I do is find... Uh, old furniture, unwanted furniture from either, you know, thrift stores, people, garage sales, and give it a new life. And I uh, do it organically because all of my paints are natural and environmentally free and biodegradable. That's why I love them. They're, they're natural, healthy for us, for our home, for us to use. And they are so pigmented and so great that it really doesn't require any kind of huge prep. It's pretty much paint and go. They all have sealers, you don't need primers. I mean, there are some precautions that you could use in certain um, furniture, but as you start using them, you learn, and obviously also here, I'm here, hopefully, uh, to answer any questions and help you. But like this chair, for example, I didn't do anything to it. I mean, I picked it up, obviously, you know, it was old. I kind of cleaned the wood a little bit. Uh, there's not much of cleaning I could do with the upholstery. I was gonna paint it anyway. So I pretty much, like you want to see me, my spray bottle water, I sprayed it, wet it paint over it like if you're dyeing the the upholstery the fabric let it dry for a day come back again the next day and that's what we're going to do on this side now while this side is drying i know i didn't do the top there yet um, but just for the sake of the video just really quick let's go over to the original side that i painted yesterday so after you paint it you know you let it dry for one day like i said you come back so let's say now we're on the second coat here you're gonna just take a 220 cent paper, um, 
just a very fine, light one. And what you want to do is sand it. So that's what I'm going to do on this side. You probably guys can hear. That's the clay. So what you're doing with this is smoothing it out. Just any anything that may, you know, may be sticking out, you just kind of smooth it out. So. And it feels really great. I mean, you know, it's, the fabric starts kind of coming up and showing and it starts feeling smooth, not like a paint over. Now it's hard to tell for me which is the other, the side, but I can feel that this side is too wet and this one's dry. So that's my dry side. Oh, thank you, and my good taste. Thanks. Well, you know, we all have our own style, so we don't know unless we try. But we all have that creative part in ourselves. And hopefully, in this time of quarantine, something new and we learned something new or did something new that we hadn't done before and uh, this is what this is all about. This is my meditation and this time. And uh, it's a great time to pass and uh, to create something. But thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. All right, so not a lot, not necessarily. You can like just touch it with your hand. You can feel the difference of where it's a little rough and where it's not. And that's it. So then what you want to do is, you know, just dust it up a little bit with a dry, with a dry <coughs> cloth. We'll do the same up here. if I can't answer any questions right now, but I promise I will. If for any reason I skipped any of you, have you to run to a Zoom happy hour? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Christine. Have fun in your Zoom happy hour. That's cool. I never heard that before. So what does that mean? Are we like having drinks while everybody's on Zoom and having a happy hour hanging on the, on Zoom? That's pretty, that's pretty imaginative i'm telling you that's creative also that's cool all right you guys so for those that are just tuning in i'm showing you how to paint upholstery uh anybody can do this so you just need paint clay, a good paint clay based paint which is the one that i you know i use there's many out there though that the one that i use is the one that i know so um and uh a sanding paper a spray bottle with water and then we're gonna seal it. Right now I'm sanding what I did yesterday, so it's already dry. And now, what we're gonna do is paint the second coat. While this coat dries, so I'm gonna do the second coat. So remember, rule of thumb, always dip paint, some paint for it in a little container so that you don't have to put your brush inside the jar and contaminate your paint. And also so that you can open the jar after. Sometimes um, if the paint dries on the rim, it's really difficult to open the jar. So that eliminates that problem. Okay, so let's do the second coat. I'm going to start on the top so you guys can see. So this already was done yesterday, and we just 
sanded it with a sanding paper 220 just to make it smooth, take out any rough spots. And now we go over the second. Um, you may need water if you feel that there's places that it's not absorbing, but pretty much the second coat just on goes on right on top of the other one. The water just helps you let the paint be absorbed by the upholstery better. So any of my viewers right now, have you guys ever tried this? Anybody try it? Let me bring you a little bit closer. Have any of you guys tried this at home? Ever painted upholstery? How about now that you saw this video? You think you want to try it? You have anything at home that you didn't know if you wanted to keep or let go? Perhaps? This is a great option. You don't have to go out and buy something new right now and you are actually recycling. And that's always a great thing, especially with vintage furniture. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I don't know. I just, I really love the old craftsmanship of things. Anything nowadays costs you a fortune and it's all just cardboard, to put it mildly. Not so nice, I know, but you know, it's not well made and it's expensive. And this old stuff, vintage, has such a charm and such a beauty to them. I just can't get enough. And if you can do this stuff to it, which is becoming a really great, um, I don't know, creative idea, but a lot of people are doing it now. And things look so great. They really, they look beautiful. They're unique, you made them. You're reusing them, and they're just very beautiful. What brush do you use, hard or soft? Um, Jasmine, I use, I have so many, but like for this particular, for the upholstery, I'm using a synthetic large brush. Um, I have them on my website. They're by Paint Pixie. They're really great brushes. I mean, they're really some of the best in the industry. Uh, they also come in natural boar's hair. Um, they're made in Italy, actually. Um, but this one is synthetic. And I'm using synthetic because this is fabric, and I find it with the clay to be uh, much helpful than a natural bristle. The natural bristle absorbs even more paint. And um, because it's natural, it has a tendency to kind of stick a little bit. This one just goes on smoother. So I do recommend to use, this is uh, the number 10 by Paint Pixie. And it's actually, they all have really cool names. This one is actually called, I believe, um, Create. So the Create brush, number 10 by Paint Pixie. There's many different kinds, but for this one, this one. So yeah, Paint Pixie are the brushes that um, I recommend. All right. So that's the second coat there. I did this part, I'm gonna do a little bit again. Good question. You know, the tools, you guys are very important because you know, if uh, you don't use a good brush, you have streaks on your furniture and you know, you might blame it on the paint or that the project or that you didn't do a good job, but actually what it was, was that the brush that you used was not a good brush. And your project didn't come out nice. So if you use good paints, you wanna use also a good brush. The materials and the products you use are important for good products, huh? All right, so this is second coat here. Let me finish this side. So remember, what we do again is soak with 
water. Go by sections, okay, you guys? Not, don't do like the whole thing, but by sections. It just, it's easier for you to paint and to know where you are and make sure that, you know, it's absorbed properly by the fabric. Can you guys see there? Okay, cool. There we go. Circular motions are good. It helps the fabric get the paint just going deeper, deeper. It also is gonna depend on what you're, you can, you can, I mean, this is like a cottony type of upholstery. You can use it on velvet, you can use it on, on silk, on linen, any kind. But remember, all, all the materials, de uh, depending on what it is, is how much paint you're gonna use. Um, some may need more coats than others and absorb faster and some slower. And that's just really a matter of just doing it. I can't tell you on top of my head which one's gonna be easier or not. And it's really more about getting the pigments into the fabric. You don't wanna soak it totally where it just like becomes totally wet, okay you guys? It's just plenty so the brush can go through the fabric. The, well, not the brush, the paint, but that the brush can also slide. Okay. Do you get the idea? Any questions, anyone? Hi, Sasha, how are you? Great, I'm glad you can see. Thank you so much, Sergey. Um, it's a little hard on this side because obviously the chair is higher than me and I'm not very tall. <laughs> but I want you guys to be able to see well. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. You know, I kind of go in circles and up and down. I'm working with the fabric. Keep putting some water and then adding more paint. So after the first coat, you want to let it dry for a whole day overnight that way you know really good where it absorbs the paint where it not and what adjustments you have to make just like in everything though take your time don't try to rush things because when you try to rush it is when you make mistakes or things don't come out the way you want them don't worry about all this that is coming out. I know it's, I'm kind of like not being very careful and it's coming out here at the bottom. I'll clean that up now with a clean, with a wet cloth. I just want to be able to get really through the, you know, through the seam and really have it go through the paint. So anybody's tempted now to do this, to try this at home? Huh? Come on, come on, I dare you. So, for any of you guys tuning in, I'm showing you how to paint upholstery, a fabric chair here. I picked up a while back, it cost me, I don't know, I think it was a Goodwill for like 20 bucks and um, it's a nice chair and a really nice one after I'm done. It wasn't in bad condition at all. It was actually in very good condition. Just had some stains on the fabric and it was all kind of yellowy. Um, but everything else is great. It's sturdy, it's really in great condition. And after this paint job, I think it's gonna fly. All right, you guys. 
we'll leave this as is for now. Let me finish this side, the arm. So all I have in this bottle is water, just water, and paint. Can you guys see there? I'm doing this right now. So just make sure that you really get all the little areas, the small areas. There you go. Sorry if I'm blocking you guys. I'm trying to get this part. All right. So. All right. So remember with um, just wet cloth, any areas that them out through the sides, no worries. Just clean them out while they're still wet. And even if they dry out, this paint is great. It's water-based. Well, this is clay-based, but it also has, you know, it's water-based, so it's easy to, um, to clean it off. All right. All right, so what do you guys think? Look at this. Huh? So I'm going to show you something else I did. So, the whole front, I repainted. One side may look a little bit darker than the other. That's because this is a second coat on this side and this is one coat. This is the one that we did live today, this, this side. One coat and this side, two coats. I think you can see a little bit of the difference. So once we do second coat here, I'm gonna sand it like I showed you earlier. You can watch the replay if you missed it. I used a 220 sandpaper after the first coat is dry, after a whole 24 hour. So then you come back to it and you sand it lightly and this takes away like any chunky leftover scrunchiness and it just makes it nice and smooth. Okay, so now I've done that here, but we're going to wait. Now what I'm going to do for the sake of the video, what I started to do is show you the back and the back I've already done two coats, okay, of paint and I've done something else and I want to show you. Voila! What do you guys think? <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, I know I'm silly. I get, I get, uh, I'm, I don't know, passionate, happy with my own stuff when it comes out good. <laughs> so, so you guys look. Two coats. All right. So, it's almost, yeah, it's dry. I would say kind of dry already. Yeah, it's good. So I'm going to sand it for the second time. So I did first coat, waited 24 hours, painted, you know, I sanded it, sorry, painted it again, two coats. Now I'm going to sand it lightly again one more time, and uh, then I'm going to seal it. But as you guys can see what I did here, I started painting in the color, it's called Nightfall by Country Chic, and it's like a really light, beautiful blue, bluish with a little tone of gray. And uh, so if you can just imagine what the whole chair is gonna look like. So it's the Sunday tea, which is the color. I painted the upholstery. It's kind of like a mushroom white um, color with nightfall. And that's what I did the wood with. You like it? Yeah, yeah, I, I do too. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Uh, it's a big change so you saw from like that whole old kind of vintage gloomy look and now a much more modern yet sophisticated uh, very chic so that's where I'm going for and um, so I wanted to show you now pretty much once it's finished what it will look like obviously I still have to seal this with wax but I'll which I'll start doing right now so you guys can see um, and uh, maybe do a little bit of uh, and, you know, more painting of this so you can have more of an idea, but I wanted you guys to see how pretty that looks and what a difference that made. Yeah, you like the color? Thank you, Sergey. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys. So this part is dry. Let me just sand it a little bit. Again, the sanding, what it does, it smooths out. And anything that may be 
from the paint sticking out, chunkiness, you know, and uh, it makes it smooth. wax brush and this is by Waxwell. It's under the milk, Lincoln's milk paint collection. Um, it's also one of the brushes they carry. I'm going to be using their wax by um, Sweet Pickens Beast Wax and I think you guys can see there. Why I'm using this wax is because first of all being that it's all natural beast wax, the smell on this wax is like no other. It smells so good. Ooh. Sorry, you guys, I think I missed you there. You're back. Um, it smells like flowers, but really soft beeswax combination of flowers. Ah, so good, I wish you could smell it. So I'm using this beeswax and I am going to just dab a little bit of it and uh, put it on the fabric. Yep, don't be scared. This is the final touch. So, Jasmine, when you were asking me about how to clean it, you know, this in itself, the beeswax, is a, a sealer. So it's sealing the fabric, it's making it be smooth, it is, smells good, and it is weather waterproof. I mean, obviously you're not gonna leave it outside, but you know, if something spills in it, it's gonna help you be able to clean it easier then totally be like a, a regular material will, where it absorbs right away and you have to wash it. So this really helps protect it as well. So just dab it. I don't know if you guys can see a little bit. I can see that, you know, what it does is it really does deepen the color a little bit more, but you're gonna let it absorb and then you're going to wipe it with a dry lint-free cloth to kind of give it a little bit of sheen and just dry. Um, you really want to allow it to dry for a few weeks. I would say to really be on the safe side at least uh, 14 days, 14 to 21 for it to cure. So um, that's really just one of those uh, to prevent, you know, anything from, you know, being absorbed or, 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 you know, I don't know, not being happy totally with it just in case. And okay, just precautions, just like even furniture itself. It's not that you can't sit on it or anything, but think about it. If you start putting stuff on it, um, when it's not cured, you can have the tendency of it, you know, living rings around or being damaged, okay? Hi, Jimena, welcome. So, yeah, so now, just circle, again, circle your motions. So just think like you are the fabric. So you're helping it to absorb, okay? All right, you guys, I want you to try this. I am sure someone has a chair that you don't like and that you've been wanting to change the color or the cover. This is a great alternative. You will never go back, <laughs> I promise. So look at this. You guys see what I'm doing? Just, just push and help the fabric absorb the wax. Okay, you can just, it's okay. You can do counterclockwise or clockwise, just helping the fabric absorb the wax. So dip in my wax and again. So I'm using the beeswax, all natural by Sweet Pickens. Uh, they are a milk company. Any of these products that I've used here, 
I do sell them, you guys, and they are on my website, and that is somethingfromsomewhere.com. I have quite a few products there um, and um, collections. Today we use and Nightfall, which is the blue that you see on the chair, and Sunday Tea on the upholstery. They're all natural clay-based paints, and the wax is by Sweet Pickens. <clears throat> I chose it just because really, to tell you the truth, I mean, you can use any of the other brands uh, waxes, but this was natural um, and it smells really good. So being that it's going up on fabric, I'm like, huh, I'm also making it smell good and protecting it. All right. There, I think I got it all. Okay, I'm not gonna do the whole chair today because we'll be here till tomorrow. I wanted you guys to have an idea what this was all about, how to do it, how to start, what you needed. Um, I want to, now that I have this done here and I've painted this twice with Nightfall, I don't know if I have shown you, and because this is dry already, what wet distressing does. Wet distressing, if you want to give it that shabby chic where in certain areas of the wood you have kind of like, you know, that distress that looks like old world charm look that you see now uh, more often. They call it shabby chic. Uh, this paint is great for wet distressing, which means you don't necessarily need sanding paper to distress it. Um, when you have a wet cloth and you go through the corners of it and you rub hard enough, you can start pulling off the paint so it gives it a natural distressing without needing sanding paper. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Jasmine, good night. It was great to hear from you. Have a beautiful night. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so let's do this. Let me just wet it real quick and show you real quick. So any, I have these like little raggy, you guys have probably seen these, it's like yellow, uh, I'm sorry, orange uh, lint cloths. So I don't know, and you can Harbor Freight or Home Depot, just a little rag that you can wet or a little towel. So now once it's wet, not totally wet, just, um, you know, just da damped really, you can go on the corners I don't know if you see it, let me bring you closer. Okay, so, right here, if you can see here, see here? This is what distressing. Awesome, look at how easy that is. So you just rub and there you go. So you want to distress on corners, areas that you think that you know are natural locations of where if you were to bump something that it would chip off, you know, like chippy. So distressy. So this is what it is. You see how easy that is? Here. Let's do a little more here. Look at that. So you can do as much or as little as you want. And it looks awesome when you're done. So then you can actually do the whole chair with wax. So if you're doing the upholstery to make it smooth and you want to also wax the chair, you can do the same thing. You can use the same product. Um, I'm probably going to use wax. Why not? Might as well. So just the same way, like you did here. Now once you distress it as much as you want, then you take the wax and just wax in sections. And then with a dry cloth, you would just kind of take off any excess and you let it dry overnight. And if you wanted to give it some shine, you can just 
again buff it with like a dry cloth and give it some shine and that's it that's pretty much it so how are we guys let me push you back so you could see more of the chair there so we painted this and the outside and just to give you a quick recall of all the products that I used I used the Sunday tea and nightfall they are clay based paints by country chic paint I used a large synthetic brush by paint pixie is the number 10 called create and I used a small one to paint the blue and this one is number eight I believe and it's called dream which is really cute because they all have like this really sweet names they're by paint pixie and I used to seal the upholstery the fabric by uh, beeswax natural beeswax by sweet pickens milk paint sweet pickens and their brush for wax this is the small I'm sorry I think this is the large one the large uh, wax brush and if any of you are wondering all these products are on my website at somethingfromsomewhere.com if you guys have any questions about any of the products or what to do with a chair that you may be wanting to experiment with or any questions please 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 don't hesitate to contact me uh, you can reach me by email and that's info at somethingfromsomewhere.com um, and I'll be more than happy to really to assist to help you just really two quick announcements um, I'm still having the a sale for 30% off on all the friendship products they're also on my website <clears throat> and I've created a Facebook private group called something from somewhere creative tribe so you guys check it out um, you do have to request to become a member it's a private group but it's a beautiful group it's grown quickly in two weeks I have almost a hundred people and um, it's a great place to communicate and to stay um, you know together and uh, share our projects or anything going on with ourselves it's a really great community uh, of creatives and DIYers and we can all get a lot of um, inspiration from there so totally totally please check it out you're I'm inviting you to to be part of our group and uh, thanks for being here you're welcome Sergey and uh, I'll see you next week again every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern time I come on here and show you a new project uh, if you have anything that you want me to teach you or something you're interested in or have any again questions please totally ask me and uh, until next Thursday thank you and I hope I've inspired you to create something from somewhere and make it beautiful thank you and good night guys bye